What if the meal you enjoy this afternoon triggers a severe allergic reaction while you sleep tonight, and the cause is a tiny bite you barely noticed on a weekend hike? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today you'll hear how a tick-driven allergy to mammalian meat can emerge hours after eating and, in rare cases, turn deadly. I'm Alara Skye. We're focusing on a 47-year-old New Jersey pilot who appeared healthy, had no significant medical history, and developed delayed reactions after eating beef. His story illustrates how alpha-gal syndrome, or AGS, can hide in plain sight and why awareness and prevention matter. After a family camping trip, he ate a late beef dinner and went to bed. Hours later, he woke with intense abdominal pain, vomiting, and diarrhea. The symptoms eased and he went back to sleep. The next morning, he felt well enough to walk five miles and considered the episode a fluke, even telling a family member it felt life-threatening in the moment. Two weeks later, he ate a burger at a barbecue around mid-afternoon. He felt fine for hours, even did yard work. That evening, he became suddenly ill, lost consciousness, and despite prolonged resuscitation attempts, was pronounced dead. The initial autopsy found no clear cause. Unsatisfied, his wife sought a second look, which brought in Dr. Aaron McFeely and allergist Dr. Thomas Platts Mills from the University of Virginia. Subsequent testing showed extreme sensitization to the alpha-gal molecule, consistent with fatal anaphylaxis. The quantified level was extraordinarily high, the sort of measurement typically seen only in fatal cases. The team also noted potential amplifiers that day including beer and seasonal ragweed exposure, which may have intensified his immune response. Alpha-gal syndrome was formally defined in 2009 after investigators traced unexplained allergic reactions, including reactions to the cancer drug cetuximab, to sensitivity against a carbohydrate called galactose alpha-1, 3-galactose. That sugar exists in most mammalian tissues, but not in humans and a few primates. Although many people call this a red meat allergy, it is more accurate to say mammalian meat allergy. The sensitivity does not extend to non-mammalian meats like ostrich or emu. The pivotal link is the lone star tick. Found widely in the southeastern and eastern United States and extending into parts of Mexico and Canada, it often inhabits wooded and edge environments rich in deer. When the tick feeds on mammals, alpha-gal can be present in its saliva. A subsequent bite to you introduces alpha-gal into your bloodstream, priming your immune system to react hours after later exposures to mammalian foods. Reactions can include hives, swelling, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and in severe cases, anaphylaxis. In the New Jersey case, the man's wife reported 12 to 13 bites on his ankles after camping. Although initially suspected to be chiggers, the investigators believe they were lone star tick larvae. The delayed nature of symptoms, striking many hours after eating, made it difficult to connect the dots in time to prevent the second fatal event. Beyond a single story, the numbers are rising. Documented U.S. AGS cases climbed from 12 in 2009 to more than 34,000 by 2019 and over 110,000 by 2022, with estimates suggesting actual cases may exceed 450,000. A large analysis reported a 100-fold increase in alpha-gal antibody positives between 2013 and 2024. Awareness still lags. In one survey of healthcare providers, 42% had never heard of AGS, and 35% were not confident diagnosing it. Geography matters. The highest rates appear where the lone star tick is most established, especially in the southeastern U.S., in some communities there, up to 20% of people show alpha-gal antibodies and around 3% meet criteria for AGS. The geographic footprint mirrors other lone starborn infections, such as ehrlichiosis. There is no definitive cure right now. Sensitivity may lessen for some people if they avoid additional tick bites, but current guidance for those affected is strict avoidance of mammalian meats and products derived from them. That includes items like milk, cheese, gelatin, and natural sausage casings, 
and it may extend to certain medications that contain mammalian byproducts. Prevention starts outdoors. When you're in wooded, brushy, or grassy areas, stay in the center of trails to reduce contact with vegetation where ticks wait for a passing host. Choose long sleeves, long pants, and long socks. Tuck shirts into pants and pants into socks. Light-colored clothing helps you spot ticks more easily. When you return home, perform a full-body check using a mirror to see hard-to-view areas. Inspect clothing, gear, and pets. Ticks can hitch a ride and attach later. A sticky lint roller swept over clothes and pets immediately after you come indoors can pull off ticks before they embed. Shower within two hours to wash away any that haven't attached yet. Around your home, mow regularly, rake leaves, and clear tall grasses and brush. Consider a three-foot barrier of wood chips or gravel between lawn and wooded areas to slow tick migration. Protect pets by discussing prevention strategies with your integrative veterinarian so they don't bring ticks into the house. Choose repellents wisely. If you want to avoid DEET, consider alternatives such as lemon eucalyptus oil, neem oil, or cedar oil. Apply as directed and reapply as needed, especially during peak tick seasons or after heavy perspiration. If you find an attached tick, removal technique matters. Use fine-tipped tweezers to grasp the tick as close to your skin as possible, right at the mouth. Pull upward with slow, even pressure. Don't twist, yank, burn, or try to suffocate the tick with substances. Those approaches can increase what enters your skin. After removal, avoid crushing it with bare fingers. Instead, wrap it in tape and throw it away, flush it, or place it in alcohol. Your first minutes after discovering a tick can either lower or raise your risk. Proper removal, followed by careful disposal and monitoring for symptoms, gives you the best chance of staying well. If you live in regions where lone star ticks are common, keep the possibility of AGS in mind when delayed reactions occur after eating mammalian foods. Here's your challenge. Over the next 48 hours, assemble a tick smart kit with fine tipped tweezers, a small mirror, a lint roller, and your chosen safe repellent. Then walk your yard to trim brush and establish a clear border. On your next outdoor trip, wear protective clothing, check yourself and your pets when you return, and shower within two hours. If you've had delayed reactions after mammalian meat, talk with your clinician about evaluation and avoidance steps now. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.